So we've uh, been here in the Chattanooga area now for about a week and we've been looking at, uh, how many houses have we looked at? I think this would be 17. 17? Yes. Okay. Most of the houses that we've looked at are just not options. They require way too much work and they're asking way too much money for it. But I think we've, we've come across here a uh, house that looks really interesting so we want to show it to you guys. I don't know. See how it goes. This is, we're in the driveway. So you can see there's a two car garage that comes with the house. This is a three bedroom, uh, two bath. The description says the house was built in 1940. Uh, so it's an older home, but looks like it's been renovated or at least a lot of it has. The roof looks like it's in good shape um, and it looks like it has newer siding. Let's see what it looks like inside. Wow. Okay, it looks like this is the living room. There does seem to be a little bit of noise from the highway that you can hear. We can't actually see the highway, but you can hear it. Huh? I can see a little bit of uh, the floor is not completely flat here. Yeah, and it looks... Maybe that can be fixed, I don't know. Yeah, this looks like just regular pine on here that's been sanded down and varnished. It's not exactly a usual floor covering, but it works and we can, that's something we can change probably. Over here, it would be, I think, a bathroom. I can see yeah. here. It's been painted on blue. I don't think I'm in the future, I would paint, you know, the color probably more neutral. Yeah. Uh, not very That's big nice. fan of the dark, dark walls. Oh, it's, it's not horrible though. Is that oak on the floor? Um, no, this looks more like a, maybe an ash. Okay. Yeah, if I had to guess, I would say this is ash. And over here, is there a closet or could be a bathroom here? Uh, no, this is a closet here. For sure, that's just... Too small for a bathroom? Yeah, it's a little small for a bathroom. I mean, you could turn it into a bathroom, I guess. If you needed to. Yeah, you could make a Do bathroom I have? and then make a closet there, maybe, I don't know. Could? Yeah. Um, kind of a cream uh, beige color things. Painted yeah. door. And that looks nice. Black light fixtures. Okay, so over here. Uh, the floor is very artistic, I would say. To say the least, yes. So they painted on the floor, on the hardwood floor. Looks like this is our kitchen here. It's going to require some some renovating, some updating for sure. Yeah. Um, but looks like it's functional and usable for now while we're living here. Sorry, I can't zoom out any further with the uh, with the camera. Yeah. So over here is a little hallway. I think this is a pantry. Isn't it? Uh, I guess it's washroom. Or laundry. Yeah, it's a washroom. It's got the hook up here for the washer and dryer. And looks like that's the return air for the HVAC system. Uh, it has a water filter or a softener. That's right there. Looks like just a water filter. And a electric hot water heater. It looks like this. Uh, it's got PVC plumbing everywhere. What is that? That's the return air for the uh, air conditioning. Got some shelves there that we can use. The bathroom over here. All right, this is, looks like the guest bathroom here. So it's kind of nice. It has a new vanity in there with a nice, uh, nice new sink and faucet. There's the, uh, the shower. It's a fiberglass insert. Shower head is up nice and high, which is nice for taller people like me. This is the favorite part of the house in my opinion. It's this master bedroom, but it's like really master. <laughs> it's, 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 it's enormous. This is an enormous room. Wow. Uh, this is the master bath, here. master bedroom. Seven big steps. Uh -huh. Wow. It's really big. Yeah, nice big, nice little chandelier really there. Soccer you, here. You can probably say play soccer or baseball in this yeah. room. It's very nice. And the closet is also not big. Yeah, it's we, a good size. Okay, yeah, here, let's show you the closet. This is a walk-in closet. Yeah. There's the, we're gonna assume that's the his side since it's not finished. And this <laughs> is the uh, her side. 
that looks nice. There's an inspector here right now looking at the, looking at the house uh, as well. So there's the attic access. All right, here's a look at our attic. It's nice and open, looks like. It's not too hot up here right now, but it's not really, it's not a very hot day outside. Looks like they have blown in cellulose insulation. That usually works, that's pretty good. I like seeing that. Yeah, you could almost create another room up here. It's almost enough room. And looks like we need a little bit more blow-in insulation over there. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Cut down on my energy costs. All right, well, but overall, I think it looks really good. All of the, uh, this, uh, this is a new addition. All of that is new wood up there. That's not from 1940. Looks like there's the, there, right over there is the older part of the, ha of the house. There's the roof, the original roof there, or not original maybe, but older part of the roof. So this here is all in addition. Okay. <clears throat> Over here, this is the master bathroom. So we have two sinks. Um, I wouldn't say this is very modern, but... No, um, it isn't, but you know, we're gonna, we'll are be doing our own updating. There is a toilet and the bathtub. Basic model. Um, it works. I already tried it. <laughs> <laughs> and our shower some here. Storage over here for towels and uh, whatever else we need. Yeah. supplies or whatever. Well, the lights are right there. They should be fixed. But did you see that? Yeah, it's missing a bulb. Go back. Go back here. A bathroom. The laundry room. Kitchen. I don't think we should show this room. This is no, not yet. This is a. This is either. A, this is one of the other bedrooms. It'll be either the one, one of the kids' bedrooms, guest bedroom. This is the one with the smallest closet. Uh, it's not walk-in, but it is. It's not a walk-in closet, but it is a little bit deeper than your standard uh, closet. So it's. Uh, the floor is very artistic. Yes, very. This is painted on. Somebody really took some time. Yeah, the walls are red. It, what is that kind of wall? Pepin? Paneling? No, it's not paneling. It's just wood. Um, the house has uh, double pane vinyl windows, so that's that's a plus. Samuel, what do you think? Please. You like the house? Yes. Do you want to live here? Yes. You do? Yes. That's That's good. All right, and so as we come out of the bedroom, we do access the master bedroom and one of the bedrooms through the kitchen. So that's a that's interesting, but it's not it doesn't kill the deal for me. Come out here as we walk out onto the onto the deck. This is the view that we have from our front door. There is a highway on the other side of that tree line there. Uh, so you can't see the highway really, except for through the trees there, you can see a few cars going by. I don't know if you see it very well on the camera, uh, but you do hear the cars passing by. It's a distance of about 150 to 200 yards, I would say. Um, there in front, there's in front of the garage there, there's a area that is, they made raised bed gardens. So it looks like they're it's pretty good size. So that, uh, that's definitely something we'll be utilizing. Let's see if I can get a little closer there for you to see. That's overrun with weeds at the moment, but we can fix that. A little bit of elbow grease will fix that. And I'll show you here the garage. This is our. This would be the garage. It's really qu quite a large garage. It's going to make an excellent shop for me. Well, looks like the garage, the garage door openers work really well. So those work good. And so we have room for two cars in here. I'll probably be using this as a shop more than for the cars, but we'll see. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of space here. And there's plenty of space in the attic of the house for storage. So we might, we should be able to keep most of the storage out of the, uh, out of the garage, which is fine by me. Uh, I've got one window in the garage. This is an older, uh, or I don't know if it's older. It's a double pane window, but it's uh, aluminum. This is the back porch. This is a porch that is attached to the master bedroom. 
Here's something my wife was really excited about, and that is we already have a really cute chicken coop. Come over here and show that to you. It's got a little run right there, or a little uh, area for them to run around in. Not very big, but we can work on that. Let's see. They can crawl up there, roost, and then we have some nesting boxes right there. Looks like four nesting boxes, so we can we can have chickens again. We're all ready for chickens. That's great. Looks like we already have a little rooster in there. Hey, are you a little rooster? We can use it also for to lock him up when he's not behaving. Looks like we're gonna have to go inside here in a minute because it's starting to rain. But this is the yard. It's a nice big yard for the kids to play in. That little uh, that little concrete box that you see over there is. Uh, where the well is. So we'll be on well water. They have a six inch well. I don't know how deep it is. It has a, uh, a, a new pump, I understand. I see the old one that's in there as well. I opened that earlier. It has new filters in there and a new, a new bladder tank. So I should be good to go as far as everything well is concerned. This is the back of the garage. You see there's a covered, almost looks like a carport here. You can use this for storage, you know, a lawnmower or maybe a small tractor if I uh, end up getting one. Some storage area up there. We had a pr really a pretty good downpour of, ra of rain yesterday, last night and today and so I was a little bit concerned earlier about you know this hill coming down here and come coming down that close to the building you know, if that would cause any flooding issues but uh, I think we, we really had a pretty good rain all last night we're under flash flood warning uh, here and doesn't appear that uh, it's caused much, much of a problem there's enough uh, or enough of a, of a slope to the sides of the building that it deflects the, the water you can see up against the building there it is dry uh, where it's been protected by the eaves oops right there Looks like most of the water is being caught by the, the gutters up there and just deflected elsewhere. And open because it's locked now. Okay. We have some shelves here that they put out here. Maybe we could put our boots and things up here, our rubber boots. So what do you think of the property? Uh, very nice. The only thing that bothers me is the noise of the highway. Yeah, that's not great. But, um, and it seems like it's a pretty, it's a kind of a busy highway. Yeah, that's which the is, only uh, thing bothers me and uh, the rest of the property is really nice. Yeah, I think there maybe with some, uh, we could plant some uh, thick bushes all along that fence line and it might uh, muffle a lot of that noise. So, what do you think? It's nice. Nice? Do you like it? Uh, I think it's great. Yeah, it's a, it's a great great property did you show the garden the garden area I showed it from the porch so if we're coming off the back porch looks like they've already planted some nice plants in here they're not haven't been attended to in a while but I can tell these are these are not weeds this is uh this is the garden area so it looks like you go down these steps here there's some raspberries here on the ground you come down through here and enter in here and this is the uh, the garden spot. You have all this area here for planting, all the way around, and over to here. And then you have these little spots here that are also for planting. The one thing that I haven't shown yet is the area that, uh, I guess it's the greenhouse. Go around the front porch here. You can see on the side here they have uh, what looks like they started to build a greenhouse here. I'm not sure what I'll be doing with this. If I'll finish out the greenhouse or do something else with it. Definitely would work as a greenhouse. You have to finish it up. We would have to finish it out. I stepped on it. Well, get off of it real quick. What do I do? There's ants. We're gonna have to do something about those guys. Here's the air conditioner. It appears to be running. The inspector is turning all this stuff on and making sure everything works. Um, so I'm trying to stay out of his way right now and then I'll talk to him about what he finds. Uh, so I'll kind of know what he's talking about in his report. Well, that's it guys. That's the house. Um, so we've uh, we submitted an offer on this house and that offer has been accepted. And so now this property is contingent. You know, we're now through the process of doing our inspections and uh, appraisals and all that headache. It really is a headache. I hope you guys liked this detailed house tour, our first tour. Uh, I know it was empty. Hopefully next time will be our moving boxes with everything we have here. 
I'm sorry that I couldn't end the vlog back then I had the kids with me but I really uh, hope you subscribe to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe and help out my, my channel is still small I really would appreciate if you guys support our channel thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye bye